And, um, and David Bowie, in between takes, would, would kind of hang out. He wouldn't kind of swallow off to his trailer. He'd hang out, talk to people, and chat with people. And he, and he was a massive David Bowie fan, this guy who worked on the movie set. And he was finally stood next to him. And he was like, David Bowie, he's my, my idol. And he's, he, uh, he thought, what can I ask him? So he asked him, which he thought was a rubbish question, um, what, what's, what was, what's the biggest moment in your career? Thinking, you know, I've got to do something massive. So David, and this is what David Bowie said. David Bowie said, When I was a young pop star, I was, I was quite full of myself. I thought it was quite important. And uh, I was filming the video for uh, a song of mine called Ashes to Ashes. Do you know it? And he was like, Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I, Do you know the video? Yeah, I'm aware of the video. Yeah, I'm sort of dressed in a clown suit for the whole thing and walking on the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm not worried about that. Um, and he said, Yeah, so uh, I was walking, I was in my clown suit and I was walking on the beach. See, I'm still going. And, uh, um, and, uh, and we're filming, and suddenly this man who's walking his dog in a flat cat walks in front of me, in front of, just and stops the entire filming process. The director runs out, and, uh, and he goes, whoa, whoa, mate, you can't, just, you can't just walk in front of the camera here. We're, we're filming a music video. Do you know who this is? And the old man looked at me, and he said, yeah, I know who that is. It's a dickhead in a clown suit. <laughs> And David, and I, and, I, and I looked at myself, and I, and I thought, he's right. I'm a dickhead in a clown suit. I think about that man all the time. And that's his biggest moment in his career. What a man. If you say you won't be sorry, because we Oh, man. 
uh, right, there was a little story about this guy called, uh, we've got this, me and Johnny are in a band uh, with another guy, Ben Walker, and, and our guy who's getting his bookings at the moment uh, is called Mark, and he's got, he lives in Beverly, and uh, he told me a story that one of his mates is called John Cambridge, and John Cambridge drummed on one of the early Bowie albums, and it be Hunky Dory, and uh, anyway, he was playing, and then uh, he, he ran up uh, Bowie and said, look, uh, I can't call him up because it affects my Sunday league training. <laughs> so, so we had uh, Mick Monson coming on, hammering on his door, you know, for, for a couple of days, saying, John, John, don't be stupid, you know, because this lad's going to go place, you know, and you can always do your training late, you know. I said, no, no, I'll, I'll upset the lads. I can't do it. <laughs> so, so, so he gave. He gave up the career as a drummer for Bowie, and then uh, but Bowie <laughs> sent him Christmas cards every year, and he sent him Christmas cards every year for like the last uh, 40 years. And uh, then he invited him to his 60th birthday party in New York, so John came up with his family, and they turned up and Bowie swung him around and fed them and looked after them. And then uh, when he came back, uh, he got an email about so a few months later, or actually fairly recently, uh, and Bowie said, God, you look fucking old for your age. <laughs> Pardon me, I swore so my face. He said, not yet born very well. But, uh, and that was only about a few weeks later, he popped his clogs. Old days. Anyway, this is the song. <laughs> David Bowie was a funny man He lived in space in a little tin can Actually he didn't, he lived in Stoke and that was just one of his jokes I miss him when I would have liked to kiss him and shake his hand He was a funny man Sometimes he'd sing in American, sometimes he'd sing in Cockney. Even though he's down off from Dobby. How he managed to survive on an egg a day, I'll never understand. He was a funny man. At Christmas, he'd have a Malteser. There were fat girls all over his quilt, he was an anxious geezer. He probably never had a bag of chips in his life Except silicone chips When he was doing his downloads And his sonic experiments With Robert Fripp Sometimes the police would get called out Because they thought he were a druggie But he'd tell them a joke And then they'd go away He was a funny man when he sat the spiders from Mars and he was the middle back in band So where did he go? What did he do? He ran for the shadows Ran for the shadows Ran for the shadows And when he was alive, England won the World Cup Went to the woodsy, he felt like a king again. He was back on top. He knew which way the wind was blowing. Order was restored. I think he was sad about the floods when he was over in New York. Thinking about all his relatives, his soggy relatives, and Donnie. While we were over there on Broadway <laughs> And he remembered standing in the stands of Shigami against Man U And he'd be shouting Wah 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 Georgie Best Where's the dress? And so do I it's like a glove. Wah, wah, wah. 
You are fully mounted. 